Hello Jet, how are you today? I hope you are well on this beautiful day that the Lord has made. My name is Atanika and I am part of our Audacious Church family in Chester. Uh, and it is my great pleasure to share with you today a scripture about God's love. Uh, the Bible says a lot about God's love. It's kind of a theme that runs through there. Um, but this scripture is from Romans and talks about the sort of practical, active, powerful process of God's love. Um, so if you're ready, if you could turn with me to Romans chapter 8. I'm going to talk about verses 35 through to 39. I'm just going to read verses 37, 38 and 39 right now. I'm going to read from the Passion Translation. And it says, Yet, even in the midst of all these things, we triumph over them all. For God has made us to be more than conquerors, and his demonstrated love is our glorious victory over everything. Verse 38. So now I live with the confidence that there is nothing in the universe with the power to separate us from God's love. I am convinced that his love will triumph over death, life's troubles, fallen angels or dark rulers in the heavens. There is nothing in our present or future circumstances that can weaken his love. Verse 39. There is no power above us or beneath us, no power that could ever be found in the universe that can distance us from God's passionate love, which is lavished upon us through our Lord Jesus, the Anointed One. Amen. So there's a lot in that. Um, and the things I want to encourage you are, are, firstly, that God loves you. God loves you. He loves you before you knew him. And if you don't know him yet, he loves you right now. He loves you exactly as you are. There's nothing that you can do to earn that love. And there's nothing that can separate you from that love. God loves you. And his love is a real, active process. It's not a phrase from the Christian stock handbook. It is a real thing that is powerful and is for you. And that's the second thing I want to encourage everyone about today, that God's love is powerful and it is for you. There's a song I used to sing as a child that said that God's love, his banner over me is love. And God's love is not a wet flag in the wind. It's not a phrase that we bring out when there's nothing else that we can think of to say. In that song, when it talks about a banner, it's talking about centuries ago when groups would be going to conquer lands or go to war. They would have a banner, a literal physical banner that was massive as a visual demonstration of the sovereignty over that group. And that banner, that standard, would go ahead of them um, at the front of the group and it would stand through all of the storms and the winds and the rains and it would be upright through every battle and every, every war that they had as a visual reminder, a demonstration of the sovereignty over that group and how powerful that sovereignty is. And that's God's love over you. God's love over you is real and it is powerful. And in life, there are situations that we face and people question, where's God's love in this? And in these scriptures, Paul lists some of those things. He lists trials and tribulations and dark times and, and powers and things that we can face as Christians. And some people would say, well, where's God's love for you in that? And Paul's telling us that God's love is right there. Not only is God's love right there, but God's love is bigger than all of those things. In verse 35, it says that all these things are powerless against the powerfulness of God's love. So God's love is omnipotent, all-powerful, bigger than absolutely everything that anyone can be facing or come up against. And so when we look at life and we look at what's going on and we might change up that list and add day-to-day -day problems and things that come out of the blue and Sometimes it's things that we've done ourselves or things that have been done to us. There's real stuff that's going on in people's lives today. But God's love is bigger and more powerful than all of those things. 
And God's love is our solution to all of those things. It says in verse 37 that his demonstrated love is our glorious victory over everything. It's not just a phrase that we throw out, but it's the answer. It's the solution to whatever it is that we're facing because it's a real powerful process. And the last thing I want to encourage us about is the fact that nothing can separate us from God's love. So whether it is your best day today or whether you're going through a real season of challenge, there is nothing that can separate you from God's love. God's love is a real, active, ongoing process that is for you in every situation that you're facing. So I pray that for everybody who's hearing or reading this devotion today, that they will remember that God loves them. And I pray that in the knowledge that God loves you, you would have the confidence to face everything that is coming up today and in days in the future. And that you would have real joy and an expectation of what God can do in every single situation to see you through. Because his love is for you, his love is real, and his love is able and powerful. I pray that we will be able to move through into the victory that Christ came and died for us to have by receiving that love and living in the fullness of it. In Jesus' name, amen. So church, have a wonderful day today. Um, God bless you and remember that God loves you.